Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of your support. If you are interested in receiving additional guidance aside from the weekly or monthly tarot forecast that I offer on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily oracle guidance card every single day. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to northeasttarot.com. I do have it linked below in the description bar and read about how I offer my private readings. I do still have available the 2017 yearly readings. So if you are interested in that, please head over there. I will be offering them for a limited time only. And also, uh, please watch your sun, moon, and rising sign uh, for these general tarot forecasts. These are just general forecasts, uh, and I do recommend that you watch all three. If you do not know what your rising or moon sign are, I do have linked below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free. So again, I just want to thank you guys for all of your support. I, I do wish you a wonderful week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of January 23rd through the 29th. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, wow. You have a really, really nice progression here, Virgo. So we have the Six, the Seven, the Eight, and the Nine of Pentacles here. Um, so I definitely see many Virgos moving towards um, some sort of increase financially. So for some of you, it could be landing a new job. For other Virgos, maybe you're moving towards some sort of raise or promotion. Um, but definitely things improving financially. This is really good. So the Nine of Pentacles, oh my goodness. And when I just lifted the Nine of Pentacles up, Virgo, we have the Ten of Pentacles underneath it. <laughs> wow, so this is pretty amazing. So the Nine of Pentacles is financial abundance this is success uh, living comfortably having more than enough for yourself and to splurge on yourself and maybe others friends family so this is being in a really really good place financially um, so wow financially Virgo it's gonna be a wonderful week for you now the overall energy for the week Virgo is the ten of swords so if you are a Virgo that was dealing with maybe some financial difficulties um, there's some sort of cycle that is completing now at this time, Virgo. With the Ten of Swords, the worst is now behind you. This is you closing the door on a difficult chapter or a difficult cycle within your life. Tens represent cycles that are completing. So for some of you, that's definitely on the financial front. So if you are a Virgo that was maybe waiting on some sort of raise or promotion or waiting on maybe landing a new job, that could absolutely be coming through for you this week. Um, now I wanna jump over here to the Ace of Swords because we see a nice progression here as well. We have the 10 of Swords here, uh, Virgo as the overall energy, and then I have the Ace of Swords here. So the Ace of Swords, this can be victory. So for some of you, this is victory. This is you coming through quite successful with something in your life, and maybe for some of you, it's you just simply overcoming some sort of difficult cycle uh, or chapter within your life, um, but the Ace of Swords is victory after overcoming some obstacles. So for some of you, this can very well be on the financial front. Uh we do have the Eight of Pentacles here, which this is my Craftsman card, but tr traditionally this is an apprenticeship energy. So for some Virgos, this is you coming through quite victorious with maybe landing a new job or even receiving that raise or that promotion. This is a worker energy. So I see many of you very focused upon your work. You're, you're doing a really good job. This is you paying attention to the details and just devoting a lot of time and energy um, 
to your work, Virgo. I see you very focused. For many of you, you're very focused upon your career. For some of you, you've just landed a new job. This could be you learning a new skill. And then for others, uh, this is my craftsman card. So this is you really perfecting your craft or really focused upon your craft. Really, really doing a good job. Um, but because I have the Emperor underneath the Eight of Pentacles, I think that for some Virgos, you're, you're definitely maybe moving up within the company that you work for. For some of you, this is you coming through quite successful with maybe landing um, a, a higher paying position or a position of power with the Emperor here. There could be some Virgos that now you're the boss. So there are some Virgos that maybe you know, this is something you've been working very hard on. You've been, maybe this is something that you've been trying to manifest for quite some time, and now you're coming through quite victorious with this. So for some Virgos um, with this Emperor energy here, this is you now maybe getting promoted. You, you could be the boss now, Virgo, for some of you, uh, because we have the Six of Cups here. So this is for some of you, some sort of closure that you're receiving. This is maybe something um, from the past, something you've been working on manifesting for quite some time. And this is success with the Emperor and the Ace of Swords. This is success. And for many Virgos, this is you actually moving towards bringing in more stability uh, into your life in some way. Uh, so this is really, really good. The Ace of Swords is also communication, and the Emperor can be your boss. For some of you, this is you receiving that communication from your boss. That raise or that promotion is coming through. And then for those Virgos that were actually looking for a new job, this could be you landing that new job. This could be you hearing from your boss. Um, here um, and with the six of cups I mean this is this is just happiness I feel like for many of you emotionally it's going to be a, a great week for you um, and for many of you this is you um, receiving closure on something you've been working very hard on or working very hard towards now if you're a Virgo that doesn't work for a living there could have been some sort of project or something that you were trying to manifest um, and, and for some Virgos, it could be with an older gentleman, this Emperor could be an Aries, it could be a Taurus individual, but also this could be an older gentleman, this could be your father. Um, very stable individual, someone, who, someone who's established, um, oftentimes with the Emperor, I see this as a business owner. So for some of you, uh, this is an empowering energy, this is your energy. Um, and then for other Virgos, this could be someone that you're that is communicating with you this week or someone that is is very significant here. Now, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which is definitely uh, your energy, no matter if you're male or female. I feel like this is you very grounded, practical, also very, very focused on money matters or very focused on your career, Virgo. With the King of Wands here, uh, this can, certainly can be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or Leo individual around you that's very significant. So for some of you, this can be your boss. For other Virgos, this could be a person that you're working with. Um, and then for other Virgos, this certainly could be your energy. You, you absolutely could even have some fire in your chart. The King of Wands is someone who's very, very passionate, very creative, um, you know, this is a man, when he wants something, he goes after it. So for some of you, this is your energy. This is an empowering energy. This could be you taking back your power, or taking control in some way. This is you manifesting. I believe for some of you, you've been planting seeds for quite some time. You've been working very hard with the Seven of Pentacles here. You've been waiting. Um, you, you've been planting those seeds. And then I think that you've been waiting uh, to manifest. You've been waiting... Um, for those rewards from those seeds that you've planted and we see this really really amazing progression here so these seeds are definitely starting to sprout for you Virgo um, yeah things are really looking good on the financial front now we have the seven of Pentacles I have the six of Pentacles here and with the six of Pentacles for some Virgos you might find yourself actually being really generous this week and maybe it's because you can maybe now you're you're in a place financially where you're able to give back or you're able to maybe be very generous with you know family friends or those people around you that need it but then for other virgos this could be you receiving that raise or that promotion or that communication um or you now receiving 
those rewards from those um, seeds that you've planted and from that hard work that you've put into something. This is definitely, for many Virgos, you being rewarded on the financial front. Um, I see many of you just having a, a really amazing week, honestly. Um, definitely coming through quite victorious here, Virgo, um, especially for those of you that were um, trying to maybe move up within the company that you work for or, or trying to land a new job here. This is some great energy and you are absolutely closing the door on a difficult chapter within your life. Uh, again, this is a nice progression here as well. Uh, for some of you, this is you seeing things clear, clearly or you cutting to the truth of the matter. This is if you're a Virgo that was um, waiting on clarity or waiting on some sort of communication or information to come through. This is you receiving that that clarity. Um, yeah, and this is really, really amazing energy. So I see many of you really grounded and practical, but then for some of you, you also could be very fiery and very creative uh, this week as well. But let me pull you an additional guidance card. Overall, I think it's going to be a great week for you, Virgo. Additional guidance for Virgo for this upcoming week. Uh, for some Virgos, you might be spending more time with your child children this week because the Six of Cups sometimes can represent children. So there could be some Virgos that you might be uh, also spending time with, with friends, family, with children. There could be some Virgos that are spending more time um, within the home. You could be focusing on the home, focusing on family matters as well. Um, especially for maybe those Virgos that, that don't work for a living or... You know, this you're not really relating to this um, on the financial front or on the career front. You could just be spending more time with friends, family, or, or your children this week. You could be very focused on the home, very focused on family matters. Um, but something could be going on if you're a Virgo who doesn't work for a living. There could be something going on with your spouse. Um, this is very positive energy. So there could be someone around you that... Um, like a husband, there could be someone around you that uh, is getting a raise or promotion. Uh, wow, we have Sonia. So Sonia just popped out here. I don't see Sonia very often. This is beautiful. I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Beautiful. Uh, and again, I don't see her too often. So if you're a Virgo that... If you've been thinking about a loved one or someone that has passed on, no matter if that was recently or many years ago, this person is coming through for you. So this is wonderful. Um, and what I'm really getting is, for some of you, this could be this could be a parent. This could be a parent that's coming through. Or for a very, very small number of you, I might even be talking to like one or two people here. This could be a child that's coming through as well. Um, but I'm definitely getting parent very strongly here. So this is wonderful, Virgo. So overall, I think it's going to be a wonderful week for you. Uh, I see many of you moving on from a difficult time, a difficult chapter. You're moving on. You're moving on to the next chapter. And I definitely see an increase in finances here. So whether that's uh, you being... Uh, promoted Virgo or landing a new job and then for some Virgos this could be your husband that's landing a new job this is very very positive here so Virgo uh, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I wish you a wonderful week take care